Hello, in this video I will show you how you can connect DJI RS4 Mini using Bluetooth pairing with iPhone or Sony camera. Yes, there is an option that you can connect by wired, but I would like to keep my setup clean without any cables. First I will demonstrate you how you can use Sony camera as an example will be Alpha 7 C2. So the first thing you need to do is grab your gimbal then you need to unlock all the motors and install your camera then you must do basic balancing so when you turn on your camera it won't be flying around when you done your balancing before turning rs4 mini first you need to do several settings in the camera so you hit menu button, then you scroll to network. Here you need to find Bluetooth settings. This function needs to be turned on. And then most important one is Bluetooth remote control. If this one is turned off and then you pair your device with a gimbal, the record button might be not working because this function is off. So make sure it's on and just keep this message so this is done next you need to turn on your gimbal and then head to the pairing section and keep the camera in this window next we will jump to the gimbal unlock it if it's locked then swipe from the top to the bottom and here you can see bluetooth sign click on it and then you have two options either to connect to the camera or smartphone we do for a camera so select the first option and then gimbal will start looking for devices uh, press confirm and here you will get the list with all bluetooth devices around the gimbal so here we can see that the first camera is a7c2 then it's detect fx3 camera which i'm filming on so we select the first one and click connect then on the camera you will be prompt with the question do you want to do connection you click ok and then pairing magic will happening so just in a second both devices is connected you can see the green sign you just confirm it here and you can confirm it as well on a camera then you can exit menu and you can see that bluetooth sign is switched from the white to blue so it means device is connected if you click here again and again here you will see that it's connected what you can do here is just disconnect manually if you prefer to but now i will exit to the main menu of the gimbal and if i press record button you can see that it's recording and if i press it again it will stop recording depends in which mode your camera is set it will either record or take a picture if you switch your camera to photo mode then you can press M button and it will create a picture. But if you hit record while you are in photo mode, depends on your camera settings, it can start recording or it can just give you an error. Same with the camera, you need to do balancing. But unfortunately, if you install just a phone without any additional weight or accessory, it almost impossible to find the balance uh, on this gimbal so be aware of it so it's not a perfect gimbal for a smartphone unless you put a lot of accessory or counterweight so it will be balanced properly when your balancing is done you need to get DJI Ronin app for your smartphone so in my case is installed already you need to open it if it's your first time you will be prompt to log in by using DJI account so you need to create it if you logged into application so it's not necessary then you need to turn on the 
gimbal. Once your gimbal is on and your smartphone got a Ronin application, uh, all you need to do is select from the top menu your gimbal. So in our case it's DJI RS4 Mini. Then you hit connect. And then here will be the list of Bluetooth devices around you. Because I have only one gimbal, so we can see that's the name of your gimbal. You click on it and the pairing will start automatically. On the gimbal itself, it will be asked, do you want to connect to device? On the phone you say pair and on the gimbal you say connect. And same as with the camera, it will take just a couple of seconds to connect to each other. Then you click confirm here. And if you swipe from the top to the bottom, you will see that Bluetooth icon is blue again. And if you click on it, it's mentioned that you connected to the mobile device. And if you click here again, it will ask you, do you want to disconnect? Uh, if you want, you can confirm and disconnect it or you just can cancel it. Once your device is connected, you can open any camera application and start recording. In my scenario, I'll just using the default camera application and if I press record, it will start recording. And if I press again, it will stop recording. If you switch to photo mode and press record button, it will take a picture, not like with the camera where you need to press M button. In mobile world, it's just one button and you can switch between. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any question and until the next video, bye!